Locally, officials on both sides of the bay aren't taking these tropical storms lightly. Crews are on standby in case of an emergency. NBC 15's Laura Barcheski joins us in studio. Laura, city leaders say now is the time to prepare. Rachel, Gulf Shores mayor says there is a lot of uncertainty with these storms, but they aren't taking any chances. My fear is that we've got a lot of new residents here that have never been one of these, and they're much more challenging than you normally think. Plans are in the works in Gulf Shores tonight as two tropical storms head towards the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf Shores Mayor Robert Kraft held an emergency meeting today discussing the possibility of a local state of emergency and evacuations. Whether you're going to stay here or leave, you got to get ready and you got to get prepared. I am doubtful that that has happened here this time. And so we're trying to make sure that we make the right decisions. Kraft says paths of storms can change and residents must be prepared. But we are very much aware as much as it changed from yesterday to today, it can change that much again from yep, tomorrow to the next day. The Daphne City Council is also preparing. It's holding an emergency meeting tomorrow afternoon. All eyes are on the tropics right now, and we know that everybody is watching those, and we are too at Baldwin EMC. Mark Ingram with Baldwin County EMC says electrical crews will be prepared to respond in a matter of hours after the storm hits. We have the necessary supplies. We've uh, checked in our warehouse, and we have the the cross arms, we have the poles, we have the wire, we have the splicers, we have everything available ready to restore power. Parts of Mobile County are also under a tropical storm watch. Beth Thomas with Alabama Power says their crews are also on standby and ready to roll if needed. She's asking the community to be just as prepared. We're encouraging our customers to also be ready to respond at this time. Customers should stay aware of weather conditions and be alert and also stay tuned to local weather. It's never too late to prepare an emergency kit. We have more information in the Hurricane Center section of our website. Rachel.